And a very good evening to all my viewers out there. It is right now Friday, September the 13th, 2019. It's about 9.55 p.m. And it is indeed Friday the 13th. And uh, for tonight, I decided let's do a little walking video around here. Uh, we'll go to saint Henri from, of course, where I am right here, which is Vondo Metro Station. And we'll check out the back of the MUHC hospital. We'll see what it looks like in the back, because I never really did a video behind the hospital. So I figured we'll do a walking video from here, head down the street here, and uh, make a left turn, and then another left turn, and go down the hill. So uh, let's do this. I know it's nighttime, but like I said about nighttime videos, you can kind of see inside buildings better at night. And you'll see inside the hospital very soon. And we go through the back. And of course, what I just showed you there is the Von Dome project, the new entrance being built. And they're saying it's going to be finished in winter 2020. I wonder if they're talking about, like, for example, January, February coming up 2020. Or if they're talking about next winter, meaning the next winter season after this one, like December 2020, perhaps. Um... I mean, it's progressing pretty well, and I wouldn't be surprised if they did finish it by January, February of next year. But uh, we'll see, I guess. And here, of course, is the regular Vendome Metro Station entrance. And the 105, the notorious 105 bus, which is very no well known for being overcrowded, even in the best of times. And, of course, by the way, this is the Maisonneuve Boulevard. On this very cool but decent autumn night. Actually, we're not even in autumn yet. You can say late summer night. Still got a couple of more weeks left of summer. And again, it is nighttime right now, so got to be careful, especially around here, all the construction going on and all the projects. There's the 104 bus. Cavendish, I believe. Now, this place here used to be inside here a coffee shop or a little deli and i'm talking about early 2000s i think it closed in i think it was like maybe 2010 or something and of course i did do a little bit of a walking video a little bit of a walking video in this area before um, i walked from the west under this bridge but for now we're going to be turning left which is south and a block or two here now you can see that tower flashing I, I plan to eventually do a video of that too that huge transmission tower on uh, I think it's upper Lachine so again we're going to be going here and then turning left which is walking south and then we're going to be taking another left which will be heading east and we'll be able to see the super hospital from the back. And then eventually, if everything goes as planned, I'll be filming all the way to St. Henri, which is just down. Once you get to the back, there's a little hill. And uh, we'll be on, I think, St. Jacques Street, if I'm not mistaken. Now, over here is where they have the railroad tracks for the commuter trains. And by the way, this street right here is, is this to carry? I should know this, man. I should know this. I'm trying to see here. Let's zoom in a bit. Yeah, I think this is to carry. And then you have Girward, which is a couple of blocks west of here. So we'll go under this bridge and you'll see the hospital in much better perspective in a minute and again this is the Hudson train line which goes to St. Anne I believe right above me which I've done a couple of videos of and uh, yeah with that wind I tell you it's a little bit chilly but it's a fresh wind, you know, especially after those humid days this summer, those hot, humid days. I 
and there's a much better view there of the super hospital and of course you have in there the Royal Victoria the Montreal Children's and also the Shriners Hospital which is that one on the side there I have that beautiful piece of art in the front as well that big blue globe so we'll go around the back and uh, see what we could see there and yes, indeed, we are in the carry right now. As we wait for the light to change. All right, so again, uh, we crossed over here and there's a nice view of the hospital from here. So like I said, we're gonna be going around the back. Very beautiful windows on this hospital. Which, like I said, at night time it really brings out the colors. And you can't really see in the rooms from here, but I think the rooms are those little square windows. I assume. Some crickets. Also, some cicadas, uh, cicadas out still, I believe. All right, so we are very close now to the hospital, as you can see. And of course, that new project is going to connect a tunnel directly to the hospital. Um, right now there is a tunnel if you go into Vendôme as soon as you go in and if you walk straight down the end of the tunnel you'll get to the parking lot for this hospital and then the emergency room is right down the parking lot basically at the end which is very strange to get to an emergency room you have to walk through a parking lot inside but they do have pedestrian corridors and whatnot And uh, yeah, this one here is the Shriners Hospital, which used to be on Mount Royal, and they moved it here. So we're gonna go down here, and uh, oh, maybe we could see a nice little view of the south from here. Yeah, you can see all kinds of different things in there, medical equipment. here where this pedestrian sidewalk is. I can hear the crickets chirping. Cardinal Health. So that's healthcare supplies in there, I think. That's, uh, who knows what's in that truck. Could be gloves, IVs. Who knows, it could be even some blood in there or organs for uh, transplants. I think it's more medical supplies, though. Like I said, that's what Cardinal Health is, from what I understand. So again, there's south of here and uh, yeah you can actually see the Champlain Bridge from here look at this you can see that light in the distance blinking that's the Champlain Bridge right there and you can see even the vehicles on it this goes to show you how big it is and I think this part here is uh, yeah I think this is the children's hospital part And the next one's the Royal Victoria. You see they got this nice little atrium in here. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
And you know, I admit that uh, it is a nice building, architecturally speaking, but I mean, the price tag on it is ridiculous. And the scandal and the corruption that was behind this place, if you're not familiar, um, the company, first of all, that built this hospital, SNC Lavalon, I think it was called, that's a big construction company here in Quebec. That's the company, by the way, that you're hearing about in the news. Um, there was a scandal with the Prime Minister and the Attorney General. Or basically, the Prime Minister uh, didn't want to go too hard when they were trying to prosecute the company for fraud. And there's this big scandal that broke out. Uh, well, SNC-Lavalon has been known for uh, causing major problems and there's a lot of corruption connections with the mafia and all this other stuff and in this project here apparently there was a lot of corruption that went on as well a lot of inflated costs and a lot of stuff going on in that sense and uh, unfortunately I think the price tag for this hospital was about I don't, know, I don't remember exactly but much higher than was originally estimated there's your ambulance base. Is that a advanced care unit? Maybe. Anyways, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what happened. So there's a lot of, unfortunately, like I said, corruption, embezzlement that went into this. And uh, technically, it's not the government that owns this hospital. It's actually the construction company that built it, SNC Lavalon. They're the ones that own this building. And I think it's going to be like that for a while and uh, so that's why it's a private public partnership now you know you can say oh okay it's cheaper for the government the agreement is basically SNC Lavalon gets I guess a certain cut of the profits if there is profits I don't know the deal exactly but um, at the end of the day I mean it's a disaster oh, what's this something on the highway let's cross over But anyways, uh, at the end of the day, and then there was all these problems that happened with the plumbing and the, the electrical wires and stuff. And they're still fixing up a lot of the gaffes and the problems. So, but I mean, it is a nice building in terms of the ar architecture. Nice view here of the highway, which is Highway 20. The new Highway 20, by the way. There's a Hama Quebec truck in there. That's the blood truck, which ironically is coming here, which I just mentioned a few minutes ago, talking about blood. So there's a nice view there of the hospital. And I think this one here is the Royal Vic. So we'll walk down this little hill coming up. There's one more view of it from the side, from the back. And now, where we're walking to, down this hill, is Saint Henri. And of course, Saint Henri and Westmount are two neighboring neighborhoods. And I did a video around here as well. There's, like I said, Highway 20. I think this is one of the off ramps here. I'll just do a little scan here to show you around. Oh, is that thing open there? They have a pedestrian path. Well, that might be interesting to walk. That's that's new. Didn't see that there before. Maybe we'll check that out later on if it's open. Um, here's your parking garage basically for the hospital, which is a monstrous building in itself. I'm tempted to do a walking video on this little path here eventually. I didn't notice this before. Maybe I'll do it during the daytime. I guess that goes all the way to the Saint Jacques overpass, which just reopened after being closed yet again. 
And uh, by the way, what you're looking at directly to my east in front of me is the downtown Montreal core. Right there in the distance. I really need a camera. So when I zoom in, we don't lose too much quality. Nice sky tonight, even though there's some cloud cover. And uh, yeah, we're coming up to St. Henri now. Or yours truly is probably going to go on a bike, get a nice little bike ride done. Be nice to catch a train to do a nice train video. Yeah, so this path here is definitely new. Definitely going to check that out another day. Well, I may even do a video after this, just walk back to St. Jacques Street and then go to Vendôme Metro, where I came from. I don't think it's really going to be anything interesting, but you never know. You never know. So you can see it's kind of dark here. I have to put these lights up still. Missing the bulbs and the bulb sockets. And ironically, there's an electrician vehicle there. So that's probably what they're doing. And you know, the Turcot projects, believe it or not, is almost wrapping up. You can see there's still quite a bit of work to do. And this is part of the Turcot here, that beautiful new structure. So I'm going to wrap her up here. St. Henri's basically here. And uh, more videos to come. All right, have a good day, all.